Something out there, Toby? I do feel like I learned a couple of things last night. Today's video is sponsored by my friends over at BetterHelp. So tonight's video is a little bit of an adventure. I'm gonna be camping out with my guard dogs. Oh, I know you're excited. I'm gonna be spending the night out here, seeing what they see. Abby, don't pee there. That's where I'm gonna be sleeping tonight, girl. Come on. <laughs> Please don't pee the house. So yes, earlier today, I actually rolled out a whole bunch of bedding here inside the hoop coop. I also started to put up these tee posts, which are gonna serve as like the nesting areas for the birds later this winter. But for tonight, they're gonna serve one very special purpose for me. This is gonna be my bed for the evening. Of course, I might have to work on the specifics of it a little bit. Yeah, are you guys excited for the sleepover? I know Toby is. And Pablo looks like he is. And I think Abby's excited too. Yeah. Yeah, the bedding in here is just basically old mulch hay that I decided to spread out and roll out into like just big mats. This will serve as the foundation for the birds when they first move in. I also have some straw that I'll be scattering on a regular basis. Probably gotta add more straw to get myself ready for winter. Winter is coming. But since the birds are gonna be moving in here, I figured it'd be good for me to experience a night before they come and trash the place. And so that's what we're doing tonight. Of course, before I get settled in for the evening, I'm gonna have to figure out my bedding situation. So here on our farm, we have a free range duck, goose, chicken, tree, cattle farm. During the warm months, the ducks and geese free range on our farm 24 seven. And the reason I don't worry about predators eating my birds is because we have two livestock guardian dogs working the farm. We have Toby dog and we have Abby dog. And together they keep away the coyotes and bobcats and foxes and bears bears. They really are an important asset on our farm. And of course, I can't deny that they are also super adorable. Toby Dog is the older of the two dogs. He's about three and he's a full-fledged livestock guardian dog. Abby's about a year old and she's still kind of a puppy in training. She's still learning the ropes. She's been getting better and better, but she still has a propensity to play and chase with the birds. But tonight, as I let her go loose, I'm gonna be watching her behavior and seeing if she's getting readier to be loose alone at night when I have the birds locked up for this winter. Would you guys look at the quality of the light out there? You know, it's kind of nice every once in a while to just sit out here and watch the sunset. You know, we're kind of in a valley here, like down in the lower part of the farm. And so you, you get the sun setting much earlier than in other parts of the farm. So a lot of times I find that I'm doing my evening chores after the sun has set. And so to just kind of have spent the evening here just sitting out here getting my bed set up getting my sleeping situation set hanging out with my dogs it's just really nice and, and relaxing now like i was saying earlier this will become a home for the birds but i think i'm gonna leave this section of the back door open tonight so i can just kind of look out here and hear and see what's going on i'll let both toby dog and abby dog stay free tonight i mean toby dog always stays free but this will be kind of a new experience for abby so i really wonder how she's gonna do abby are you gonna behave yourself tonight yeah you're gonna be on good behavior i know you are you've been doing so good with your training lately i think you're gonna do great how's my brave protective lion doing you good? Yeah. So I think I figured out the reason why the hammock was sagging earlier. It's because this T-post was bending. It was like, you know, my weight was pulling the T-post down and there was no tension to keep it taut. So I actually added this chain connecting it to a third T-post. I think this should work for me and I'll be able to sleep in this hammock tonight. All right, let's give it a shot. I don't usually sleep in hammocks, so this is always kind of a new experience. And I'm pretty much sagging on the floor. Yeah, Abby, I know at least you see an advantage to me sleeping this low on the ground. I'm not sure it's how I'm gonna wanna spend the night. I think I'm gonna need to come up with a plan B, girl. Of course, I can't do that if you're sleeping on top of me. Ow! Ooh, she scratched me on the head. I know it wasn't intentional, but I. So if I'm problem solving here, I guess I could sleep on the hay, but I have bad allergies and I'm worried sleeping directly in the hay wouldn't be the best thing for me. But I do also have these bales of straw. So I wonder if I do something like this and then 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 something like this. And now I think I have myself a nice comfy little mattress here. Well, I don't think I'd want to live on this, but I think it'll do for a night. And Abby, I hope you don't jump on top of me in the middle of the night. <laughs> have the risk of getting attacked by wild animals. <laughs> you know, the funny thing about Toby Dog and Abby Dog is, even though they are working dogs, they are also beloved members of my family. And you know, they kind of straddle that line between work animal and pet. But unlike your typical dog that lives in the house, because they live outside all the time, I don't always get those sort of cuddle moments with them. You know, like the same way a normal dog owner would. So that's why I'm kind of looking forward to tonight. I think it's gonna be nice to actually spend the night out here with the dogs, hanging out. Abby, please don't make a mess of my bed. I gotta sleep there tonight. 
And if folks are wondering about what does my wife think of all of this? Well, my wife Allison's actually working tonight. She is a nurse practitioner and she works in the emergency room of a local hospital. And she's got a night shift tonight, so she wasn't coming home anyway. So I think this is gonna work out just fine, me hanging out here with the animals. Now with the sun well beyond the horizon, I guess it's probably time to have dinner, huh? All right, it's time for supper. And what we got tonight is the dogs are getting kibble and then the special treat I have for each of them I don't know if you guys can see it in the dark here is I've got liver it's beef liver actually Put a little juice and chunks of beef liver in there for both of them would you look at them they're super excited about it. they know what's coming they're being their bestest selves right now and they're very excited see Toby's even like tasting the air all right now we got food for both dogs Abby you get a portion Toby you get a portion Happy, you don't have to take it away. Yeah, they're not used to eating this close together, so I'm gonna move the dish. She doesn't feel like she's threatened by Toby because Toby always gets the food choice first, usually. That's how it usually works. Then as far as my supper goes, I've got some goose noodle soup I made. Or as Allison likes to call it, goodle soup. I'm sorry, this is not Abby food. So yeah, we uh, actually roasted a goose up this past weekend. I took the carcass and made just a wonderful soup. Really, really good. Abby, you do not get to eat this food. You want this food? I'll give you this bowl. How about that? Eat that, but you can't have my soup. It's too good to share. Plus, there's garlic and onions in it, so I wouldn't really want the dogs eating it. You usually don't get the opportunity to see me eat much, huh, girl? You didn't realize that I actually ate food. Abby just yarked. I think she ate her liver way too fast. <laughs> Abby, oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh. I think they were a little too excited by their special meal. I hope she eats that back up or it's gonna stink and I'm gonna have to move my bed tonight. Ugh. Even though I just heated this up on the stove in the kitchen, it's kind of nice to be able to uh, do this like a camping trip. And yeah, soup is good food. Good soup. matter guys something out there Toby Abby you were the first one to bark what's going on what is it Toby is it anything I don't mean to intrude upon your work I mean I know you're just doing your job I'm just curious that's all you ever have like a job, and despite the fact that you've been doing that job for years, your boss decides that like she or he wants to shadow you for a day and like see what you're doing? I get the distinct sense that Toby has that feeling about me being out here tonight. Don't worry, buddy, I trust you. Trust you too, Pablo. Just curious. <laughs> Nothing to be really concerned about. Of course, Abby's still trying to figure out Pablo Barncat. He doesn't quite know what to make of him. Yeah, this is gonna be my night. Well, before that interruption, I was actually just sitting here writing in my journal. It's one of the best ways to possibly unlock how you're thinking and feeling about something. And I've got some things that I'm processing. And as I've talked about in past videos, I was actually even talking to my therapist about it earlier today, and they recommended that I actually write about it. And so that's what I'm taking this quiet time to sit and do. Now, I found that therapy has helped me in a host of ways over the course of my life. And if you're feeling stressed or need some help, you know, today's video sponsor, Better help is actually here to help you. BetterHelp offers licensed therapists who are trained to listen to you and help you. Talk to your therapist in a private online environment at your convenience. There's a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network that gives you access to help that may not be available in your area. And I know particularly out here in like a place like Northern Vermont, it's super helpful to have the ability to do online therapy. You just need to fill out a questionnaire and help assess your specific needs, and then you can get matched with a therapist 
therapist in as little as 48 hours. And then once you have your therapist, you can have an online video session or do a phone session. You can text and message with your therapist as much as you want. And everything you share with them is completely confidential. You know, so if you're feeling stressed out or you feel like you need an impartial ear, you know, for me, I have always found in my life that that therapy ear is a different kind of ear than say a family member or a friend because they're unbiased, they really are solely there to listen to you and offer you perspective. And so if you need a little help, a therapist can be a wonderful resource and that's why I'm such a big fan of BetterHelp. Join the three million plus people who've taken charge of their mental health with an experienced BetterHelp therapist. And you can get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp at betterhelp.com slash goldshaw farm. Also, you can click on the link down below in the description of this video. So check it out, that's BetterHelp. H-E-L-P. All right, let's check on our duck and goose friends and see how they're doing tonight. What I've noticed is the ducks and geese actually like to sleep in the pond when it's nighttime. So I think they're getting a little stressed out because I'm coming out here and I got the light going. But you can see that they were all hanging out in the pond. I think they see it as like their safe place. And so when they're sleeping, they're usually sleeping right out here in the pond. We just started barking at something over on the other side there and just spooked all the birds. Abby, calm down. If you're gonna be a full-time guard dog who spends the night outside, you gotta behave yourself. You can't be running all around causing chaos. Your job's to be making calm, not chaos. Yeah, see, I'm noticing this challenge where Abby is seeing that she's freaking out the birds. And so she's moving around to freak out the birds because it's like a game for her. And that's not okay. You know, to be quite honest, it's not easy to train a pup. Looks like all the birds are still back in the pond, ready to go to sleep. They were actually really quiet a moment ago, but now they're making a whole bunch of noise because I'm shining the light on them. Come on, sweetie. It's time for us to go to bed. So it's about 9.30 right now, and it's about 41 degrees, so it's getting really cold. <laughs> so I feel like I should get underneath a sleeping bag and try to turn in for the night. I'm sure I'll get woken up at some point, but. I don't know, it's probably the appropriate time for me to try to go to bed. Abby, you can take a nap with me if you want. If you want to sleep with me tonight, you're welcome to. It might not be a three dog night, but it could easily be a two dog night and I would not complain. That's enough, I'm trying to sleep here. Come on, come on, Abby. <laughs> yeah, I've never attempted to do this, so we're gonna see how this goes. I need some personal space here. Let me get in my sleeping bag. <laughs> Abs, I'm trying to sleep here. You can let me get in my mummy bag here, because it's gonna be cold tonight and I need this sleeping bag. Of course, now I still have to turn off the lights and the cameras, so I do have that working against me. <sighs> the challenges of making YouTube videos while trying to run a farm. <laughs> so I was just pretty much in a dead sleep, and I got woken up. I don't know, the dogs were barking over on the, uh, I guess, north side of the pasture. I'm getting up to kind of investigate, see what's going on. It's super cold right now. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's probably below freezing. There's so much condensation on the lens. I'm not sure how much you guys are gonna be able to see. I don't know, things seem to be calming down now. You know, there's nothing like hearing Toby in Cujo mode wake you up in the morning, or I don't know, I guess it's still nighttime based on where the moon's at right now. Let's see it up there. What'd you think of that Abby Dabby Do? Was that terrifying to you? Or you're used to it. You're probably used to it. You're a little confused as to why I'm out. Yeah. But you've been a good girl this evening, haven't you? Wait, would you look at that? You got Molly Murder Mittens hanging out on the rock. How's it going, Molly? What you up to? You out on the hunt? Is that what you're doing? And then I got an army of kazoos in the pond back here. <laughs> That's always entertaining to hear. You know, it's kind of hard to be afraid when you have ducks around. It's like you're being surrounded by an army of kazoos. Well, I'm gonna try to get more sleep, um, but I'll be back with you guys in a little bit.
Now I got to admit, it's a pretty gorgeous sight to wake up to. Whew, beautiful day. Of course, it's super chilly right now. I think it's 31 degrees. You know, in hindsight, I probably should have closed the bay door for the hoop coop and I might have stayed a little bit warmer. Wow, it is a nice morning. I mean, would you guys look at the sky? It's pretty darn glorious. Hey, Toby Dog, how would you rate this morning, huh? Huh, buddy, huh? Oh, I know, you were napping in there with me too. I could see you this morning. In full disclosure, I didn't like just wake up. I. I feel like I've probably been lazing in my sleeping bag for the last hour or so. Just kind of listening to the birds and listening to the day wake up. It was just so cold and I didn't want to get out of my sleeping bag is the honest truth. Come on, Abby, let's go move the cattle and I'll explain to all the good people what I learned last night. And yes, I do feel like I learned a couple of things last night just spending the time out here. I think number one is, you know, the default situation on our farm is not like a constant war between the livestock guardian dogs and the wildlife. Like, you know, every night it like doesn't turn into chaos and then we wake up in the morning, it's calm. You know, most of our evenings, are relatively chill and sedate. I think there was probably, I don't know, maybe four or five times in the middle of the night that I woke up hearing the dogs bark. And that's me assuming that each time that the dogs bark, that they're barking off something that's getting closer. And I think I only got up that one time, but there were hours and hours where it was nice and quiet. And I'm pretty sure there were actually a couple hours where I had Abby sleeping next to me, which was nice because it did help the warmth. Because I think the other observation I had is, Sleeping outside when it's 30 degrees, it's always tricky. I don't know, I should probably do these experiments earlier in the year, but I always seem to do it in the late fall. Oh, sorry to interrupt you, Abby. But I think part of it is because it's sort of nice and calm in the fall. In the summer, I don't like to do it because of the mosquitoes. And I guess I could sleep in a tent, but then I'm enclosed. I kind of like having, you know, three sides of an enclosure. That actually makes me feel closer to the farm when I sleep out like that. Good morning, Jimi Hendrix. How's it going, buddy? You doing good this morning? That's right, you like your noogies. Good boy. My fingers are so cold and he feels very warm to the touch. Good boy, yeah. I think the third thing I observed last night as I sat out here is that taking that time to be in the alone and in the quiet, it's actually really valuable for you. You know, I spent the night without internet, spent the night without messaging people or looking at my notifications or even listening to audiobooks. It was just me and a notepad and had this one pamphlet to read. That really can get you into a different mindset if you ever try to do something like that. I think lately I haven't been doing enough of it. I think lately I've been so caught up in sort of following all the things that are going on and paying attention to all the things that I need to pay attention to that I'm not actually stopping and taking the time to really pay attention to some of those things that I should be paying attention to and I'm focusing more of my attention on the distractions. So I guess to put it more succinctly, I really need to focus my time on quiet time and good thinking time more than anything else. How's my Ariel? You doing good this morning, girl? Yeah? You ready for some fresh pasture? Well, I'm gonna give it to you. Just hang on a sec. Hey, cows! Come on, cows! Fresh grass, let's go! Fresh grass for the cows, come on! I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to flash back and see what farm sleepovers of years past looked like, I'll leave a couple videos right here. And I'll be back again soon with another new video. Thanks for watching, everybody.